everybody, it's Bunny. I decided I would take a crack at kind of a face of the day slash semi-explanatory makeup tutorial. I know I've been doing like a lot of beauty videos lately, I guess. I mean, have I? I don't know. I I have not perceived that I have, but I I go through cycles where it's like I'm completely obsessed with makeup stuff and all I want to do is talk about makeup and then I go through fashion cycles and all I want to talk about is fashion and then I go through vlogging cycles and all I want to do is the vlogging. I really had a great idea for a vlog today that I really wanted to do for you guys, a tea vlog about like tolerance and kindness. And I'm, I'm so tempted to do that. I don't know. Comment down below and let me know if, if you would... I don't know. It's... I feel like that goes hand in hand with like my anxiety vlogs, but just let me know. I don't know. Does anyone want my view on that? I don't know if you care. I feel really bad that I have not been making regular videos for you guys lately. I know my last one was three days ago and that's absolutely absurd for me. I normally make a video a day, but ever since I was super, super sick last week and I'm just now kind of getting better, it's like I'm still really groggy all the time. Plus, it's 107 degrees outside here. Literally, today, it was 107 degrees Fahrenheit. I took a photo set for Instagram today and I thought I was going to pass out. I literally almost blacked out. It was scary and entertaining all in one. <laughs> I have a really awesome outfit, awesome outfit of the day planned, and I'm gonna try and film it tomorrow. Granted, I don't die under the sun and or melt. Would you guys like me to vlog every day in July? I keep really thinking about doing it, and I love vlogging, and I think that that would be fun. Fun. So I can do the the vlogging and the kind of regular videos, or maybe some of my regular videos could count as a day of vlogging. I don't know. And nobody suggests that I make another channel, because I'm never going to make another channel. This is my only channel, you guys. I can't, I can't handle keeping up with anything else. If you've been on my channel for a while, I did some face of the days like this back in December, and some people seem to kind of like it. A lot of you have been requesting me to do a tutorial on this makeup look. This is really my fancy staple makeup look. If I'm gonna not just slap some lipstick and some blush on, this is the look that I go for. I say that this is my Rum Diary inspired look because it's kind of based off of that. That's where I derived this whole idea of doing this. Also, quite apparently, Rum Diary is now on Netflix. I don't know. People kind of keep tweeting me about that. It's one of my all-time favorite movies. It's not as good as Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. I mean, no movie is really as good as Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, but it's a really good movie. So if you like Hunter S. Thompson and you like Johnny Depp, you will probably like that movie. And quite apparently it's on Netflix in some places. I don't know if it's like a regional thing because I've not seen it on Netflix, um, but some of you guys say it's there. So that's where I came up with this look. I've been doing it for probably about three, four, two months now. So what I'm gonna do is just go through and tell you guys what products I use to create this look and kind of a generalized how I did it. I'm really, really bad at like standard beauty YouTube tutorials because I either really get nervous. I don't know why I get nervous when I'm applying makeup in a tutorial like fashion so it always looks really terrible or I try and do a voiceover and then people are like you sound scripted and terrible so it's just I just I'm not I'm not good at it at all. Like I say all the time I'm not a guru I'm just a person with a camera that does things sometimes badly, sometimes goodly. So here is some kind of up close looks at this look. And this look really honestly varies from 
time to time. Sometimes I blend this part out a little bit more. Sometimes I leave it darker. Like today it's a little bit of a smokier look. Sometimes I kind of bring it up to my brow line, which is basically what I did today. Sometimes I have the shadow stop like right in my crease. So it really just depends on what mood I'm in that day. So it's kind of redonkulous to leave comments down below like, blend your eyeshadow, girl. Like, I'm not blind. If I wanted it to look more blended, I would have blended it more. So we will just start out step by step. That's how we're gonna do it on the swamp. Step one to any makeup look I do, whether it's my basic look or a more dramatic look like this, I always start out with my Murad Skin Perfecting Primer. This is a staple for my face, especially in the summer because my skin gets a lot oilier, a lot more prone to breakouts. Like I say in a lot of my videos, I do have cystic acne. So this has salicylic acid in it and it works as a good base for me just to kind of help prevent breakouts. The next thing that I do is is use my Luminous airbrush system, which I just did a basic tutorial on this. This is my foundation, so I just spray my foundation on my face. I'm one of those people that does things bass backwards, and I like to put my foundation on before I put on my eyeshadow. I know that that like is just like a sin to some people but that's how I've done it since I was literally like 13 so I really don't think I'm gonna be changing now so I'm just telling you how I do things. After I use my Luminous I put on my powder. The powder that I love is Revlon's Photo Ready Photo Finish. Usually in the summer I use shade 20 light to medium. It's a little bit bronzier, maybe just a little bit darker than my skin tone, but I feel like that kind of maybe gives me a bronzier look, which if you watch The Rum Diary, that's what she has. It's a super, super bronzed out look. Every time I watch that movie, I want to immediately jump in a spray tanning booth just so I can look like, you know, so tropical and bronzy. After I do my finishing powder, I do my eyebrows and I use this very grotesque looking spoolie brush that I got for $7 from Sephora. Just drop that. It's gone now. We don't have to worry about it. And then I use my Dior eyebrow pencil in blonde. This is just the one I prefer. You could probably use an eyebrow pencil that's $2 and it would work just as good. I just like the Dior one because I don't know. I love being able to fill in my eyebrows like kind of thicker. I like having big thick expressive eyebrows. I feel like I don't know. I feel like it suits my face better, you know, because I got these like huge eyes, so I need huge eyebrows to go with them. Okay, so that's kind of like the basics. Now we can move on to the actual colors that I use to do this look. I think that this look is perfect for summer, especially if you're going to go out during the nighttime, you know, evening. I wear this during the day too. I don't think it's like excessively dramatic or formal or anything, but but I think it's especially good for summer because it doesn't require any eyeliners. I don't use any eyeliner with this look. I mean, is, is that okay? I hope that's okay. I'm gonna do it anyway. What I've been using as an eyeshadow base instead of, you know, like an Urban Decay primer potion or a NARS primer or whatever is this Becca eye tint. And I got this for free in one of the beauty boxes I opened like last month or month before that. I had never tried this product before until I got it sent free to me in my Beauty Box 5, which is a beauty box that was started out of Austin, Texas. Woot woot! So I had never heard of Becca eye tints before. I still have not heard of them subsequent of this one little product that I have. But this is a really good kind of light, like a light bronzy, light brown color. I will swatch it for you. It's almost kind of like a bronzy. It's got a little bit of metallic in it. Let me show you. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah. Hey. It's kind of a swatch. Evidently, I'm bad at swatching things too. So I use this as an eyeshadow base. I hear that Bare Minerals makes tinted bases as well. I've kind of always been tempted to try those out, 
but I just never chomp chomp on the bullet and did it. Maybe, maybe one day I will do it. So I'm always super asked about what eyeshadow I use to create this look and some people ask me if it's green, some people ask me if it's gold. This is my biggest staple eyeshadow and I really do not know if you guys are going to be able to get this anymore. I got this last summer in the MAC like kind of mineral I don't remember what it was called it was like all about minerals and gemstones and stuff like that so this one is called golden gaze and it's a mix between a really nice I'm sorry if this looks kind of like gritsy and dirty with all of the fallout it's like a little golden planet with a lot of smoky kind of black gray color in it and a lot of a kind of bronzy gold color and I actually tried to film this as a makeup Makeup tutorial about two or three months ago and I went around everywhere looking for a good drugstore dupe for this or just a dupe in general in Urban Decay or a brand like that and I honestly did not find any other comparable eyeshadow outside of the MAC line. MAC however has a mineral eyeshadow collection, a mineral makeup collection and if you go there they have a gold shade that is pretty similar to this except for it's more of a golden color as you guys can maybe see and now i'm like squinting like frankenstein or something hopefully you guys can see that it is like a golden bronzy kind of color and not green. I put on the little Becca primer. I just put that on with my finger, just kind of like dab it on the general eyelid area and then slightly up into the crease, you know, where you'd put any eyeshadow base. And then this golden gaze color I pat on with an e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. And I believe this is $3 or a dollar at Target. And then what I like to do is get in there with a... I think that these are called like fluffy brushes. Mine is Tokidoki and I got it in a set. I really love Tokidoki brushes. They're my favorite kind of They're my favorite kind of brushes to use. So this is what I do the blending with and I just kind of go in the crease and go in a circular motion and blend the darker section out. So if you get a marbleized eyeshadow like this, if you're trying to recreate this look, I really try and stick with the golden color all over the eyelid and then try and grab some of the, you know, black smoky shade for the crease and outer edges and you can really kind of go in with an eyeshadow brush and do that you know where you can be a little bit more selective with what color you get where. That is really it for eyeshadow. It's like super super simple. I can literally do this look in about 15 minutes. Next for this look I use a bronzer for contouring that I don't usually use. This isn't this is like I don't know this is my staple bronzer for more dramatic looks and it's by Tarte. I got this bronzer for free from a Sephora point perk giveaway thing. You know how you can like become a member of the Sephora club and then earn points and they give you cool stuff for free. So that is how I got this one and it's called Park Avenue Princess and it's an Amazonian clay bronzer but it's really more concentrated and it's a much darker shade. That's why it kind of gives me that more like I don't know like severe kind of sunken in bronzy look so to apply that bronzer I once again go in with a Toki Doki brush and by the way this isn't like scathingly filthy like this it's shaded like this when you buy it brand new in the package the next thing I do is apply blush normally I'm a little bit heavy with my blush as I've said before I kind of like that tuberculosis pinched cheek look, you know? I don't know. Um, I kind of like to look sick and depraved. Sorry if that troubles you. My staple blush for every look is Physicians Formula in Blushing Rose. So you get a lot of different colors in here. It's a lot of shades and you can just swirl your little blush around, sort of blush brush and just claw all over your face and look, look so good. The next thing I do is apply my mascara for the top lashes. I use my all-time favorite mascara which is Maybelline the Falsies Volume Express. This really 
kind of really really does make you look like you're wearing false lashes without actually having to glue fake hair to your eyeball which is always a bonus Jonas because sometimes I just really don't like gluing things to my face just to be honest and for my sweet little baby bottom lashes I use a mascara that I both love and loathe I love it because it's amazing but I loathe it because I can only find the waterproof kind and I kind of have an abhorred fear for waterproof mascara because even though I use makeup remover I wash it off really good it's like the next day I feel like little particles are stabbing my retinas and it's just painful and bad. I love Maybelline's Lash Discovery Mini Brush Waterproof. I really wish it wasn't waterproof but it's this little sweet baby uh, applicator wand and it's really great for grabbing all your little sweet baby lashes that are kind of like under your under your eye your bottom ones are little ones that try and hide in the corner of your eyes you can just grab them real quick it work real quick work real good can't talk today last two products needed to complete this look and I really kind of vary the lipstick some days I wear red lips which is more kind of like inspired by the movie but I really kind of think for my complexion that orange lips look a little bit better with this look plus we all know orange is like the trend this summer everybody's just like orange everything first of all I start out using a makeup forever aqua lip pencil in seven 17C, which is just a very, very bright orange color. And I honestly think that Makeup Forever makes the best lip liner pencils. They always have the best pigmented ones, in my opinion. And then on top of that, I use a MAC Amplified Lipstick in shade Morange. I really don't see any sense on like just scrubbling this on my hand because it's right here on my mouth. You can see it. This is a swatch right here. Um, living swatch. So that is what it looks like in the tube. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but I know somebody's probably gonna be like did you get a new tattoo uh which would I don't know would that would that be cool like sometimes I really want an arm tattoo I don't know just sometimes I really do I found this like Pirates of the Caribbean temporary tattoo in my bathroom from when I just went to Disney World so I was like well it's 3 a.m time to slap temporary tattoos on my body so put this put this one on pirate's life for me. This video is insatiably long even though I promised on Facebook that it was going to be short so just my incompetence today is unyielding. Also I've gotten a lot of comments on Instagram and I think a couple on Facebook of you guys wanting me to do a kind of like curly like loose curly hair tutorial or a hair tutorial off of my hair from my last video which I totally could do for you guys because I got a new clipless curler so just let me know if you guys want to know what products I use on my hair and if you guys would want to see a hair tutorial. Hopefully tomorrow I will have my outfit of the day for you guys. I'm so excited about that one because I kind of like I'm, I'm gonna go on like a Halloween binge. It's gonna be like a kind of like creepy classic graveyard girl type of video I feel. Uh what else is I gonna say? What else is I gonna say? Yes um also I have a shoe unboxing for you guys that I pre-recorded like three days ago four days ago, five days ago. Totally got sick, but I'm better now, so I just need to edit it. I hope that you guys like this. I don't know. Let me know, and then maybe I can do another video like this in the future. Um, anyway, yes. As usual, please take a minute to subscribe, become a member of the Swamp family, and give an alligator its wings. I just love to say that every single time. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl. I'm gonna drink my tea, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. Oh, I just made this really horrible face. This is like what I do in my spare time. I just make really grotesque faces at myself on the camera. Just like, ugh, derp. Um, does anybody else just like, I cannot be the only person that enjoys making stupid faces at a camera. Ooh, that was like a moose. Ooh. Okay, I'm done. For real. <laughs> I'm done, I promise. Okay. That was awkward. Bye.